Hey guys, and welcome back to the One Be Craftsman. I have a commander leak starting, and I really want to show off my commander. I've had a lot of fun with the Hada. I actually have a couple projects in the work right now, all around magic, because leaks could be starting up soon. I'm very excited about that. I had some scrap rope bar and the remains from the Dungeon Master's chest in Maple that I built that would be perfect for this. This is going to end up being something to encapsulate my commander in, so it's always protected and always has some little flair. And here's the first mistake I made. I only marked one side. Nothing could possibly go wrong off that. Yeah, I'm just cutting. I'm eyeballing it. I'm really good at eyeballing it. No, I'm not. I'm not good at eyeballing it. This is stupid, and I have to redo this whole thing now. It would have taken me 10 seconds to mark out the entire card, and instead I did this. There, I don't even know what my excuse could have been for doing being this lazy. I was in a rush. Well, now I have to start all over again. Round two. Fight. And now we're going through the motions again of cutting everything, gluing it together, uh, making sure it's the right size, running it through the planer. Yeah, it appears to be stuck. Yeah, I don't know why that is, but nothing a little bit of WD-40 can't fix. Nope, still stuck. Come on! Rust. Then how it got in there. It's a new shop, but... Guess you guys gotta watch me clean this. So now, we're going to take apart this machine and try and clean it so I can finish this project. Good times, good, good times. I don't even know how it got rusted in the first place. It never leaves my shot. This was quite the workout. I haven't done this motion in a long time. I've been married, so I haven't needed to uh, clean my planer. But for those who aren't married, you probably can do this without breaking sweat. Clean everything off, put everything back in. Once again, haven't needed to do this in a while. Just to paint a picture, cleaning this planer and putting it back together took more time than all the woodworking I did for this project. Learned my lesson from last time. Let's mark every single side. Nice. I'm over kind of on purpose because of sanding and everything. I want to make sure there's enough beefy material on the entire outsides of it. Uh, and if you are going to do this, make sure you don't use the smallest sleeve you have. That's what I did. And this sleeve, I found out, is 0 0.06 inches narrower than every other sleeve I own. So only these sleeves and the sleeves from this manufacturer actually ended up fitting into this. Oh well, it's the commander. That um, It's not the end of the world, but... Don't make my mistake. Don't be an idiot like me. I think I've seen blue painters tape used more by woodworkers than I have by actual painters. I used to be a foreman overseeing the construction of houses, and any painter who's worth his salt can cut a line. They do not use blue painters tape in production. It's for novices, but I think woodworkers use it more than painters from what I've seen. I'm just using it here to make sure these things don't shift as it glues down. Keep it on the line that I marked earlier. This is the same piece, just the other side of it. I'm working out the same piece so when I cut it, all the grain is continuous and it all matches up. So I decided to make some guides for my router. I've learned my lesson with routers uh, and making some custom guides so that way this router sits just inside the lines I marked as I go through. You'll see how it works here. But 
I've had too many things shoot out and splinter on me. I, I've learned my lesson. Routers, use a guide. Just use it. Take the time to build a guide if you don't have one. It makes the world of a difference. I am in dire need of a bandsaw. I don't have one, so I'm using a table saw. And here, because of the fear of a kick out or nicking, I made it so the blade actually cut just inside of that router so I could take it out with a chisel afterwards. Because this thing kicks out at me or nicks anything, it's done. It's worthless. Learning is occurring as I'm doing this, and I've learned that you should pre-sand everything before you glue, especially in hard to reach places. Ah oh, yeah, look at that jiggle. More blue tape again. The reason we use blue tape as woodworkers is because blue tape doesn't leave any sticky residue on your wood. So you don't have anything weird and sticky on your hard, hard wood. No one likes that. There are a couple gaps from glue up, um, nothing some sawdust and glue won't solve, but uh, just showing you that this didn't come out perfect. I need a bandsaw. Holy Hitler, I need a bandsaw. I'm doing a little experiment as I'm starting this YouTube journey and trying to see what gets the best feedback, what gets the best response, or gets the most engagement. So I'm trying voiceovers, I'm trying talking to the camera in person, uh, I'm trying a little bit of an interview style. Uh, let me know what you guys like or what actually you think works best. If you like the voiceover, you like this more than everything else, then please leave a like, comment it, tell me you know it. Or if you don't like it, dislike. Say, hey, this is garbage. And let me know, because I'm trying to figure out what is best for people so that I know one can do that. That way I can make videos people enjoy, the woodworking I enjoy, and the videos hopefully you guys do. I fit a magic card inside while I sand it. I didn't want any scratches or gouges to happen inside, so I just put a magic card I'd line around in there. No big deal, it worked. So far the finish I find myself most proficient in is shellac. It's something that I really like because it can be used and finished very quickly. And if it ever needs touch up or you need to reapply it, it takes minutes. You don't have to sand the whole thing down. You can just apply more shellac. It also is very quick to apply, which I enjoy. So the application can start and end in a matter of hours. And let's see how it fits. Ta-da! Now for some glory shots. And with that, I am ready to take this to League and play it with my friends and show it off. Well, the board looks pretty clear, so I guess I'll just tap down four and finally cast my commander. And counterspell. Mother.